Thinking about majoring in electrical engineering. Part two, undergrad. Let me just begin by saying that if you want to party or have fun, this might not be the degree for you. I'm not saying that it is impossible to get a degree. In fact, I know several people who are able to do it. But if you want to excel, get good grades, and obtain an internship or other academic opportunities, you won't be able to do it. Plain and simple. You should know that you will be spending a lot of time studying and in the labs. Now let's get to the courses. The first set of courses that you will encounter are the general education courses. These are courses required in all schools, public and private, and can vary a great deal on the types of classes you can take. As I mentioned in the other video, I recommend you take these courses at your local community college in the summer or winter semesters, if possible. Don't worry too much about these courses, you will realize that the concepts you learn in these classes will probably never be used. The second set of courses are the core engineering classes. If you are still in high school, I would recommend you take as many AP classes in this category as possible as they will make your college career much easier. If you can take the AP Calculus 1, 2, Physics 1, and General Chemistry, you will be almost a year ahead in college and you will have the opportunity to graduate faster or spread out your, your schedule to get better grades and possibly have time to obtain an internship. I wish someone had told me this in high school and I'm hoping that I can help some students now so they can be more successful. If you just graduated, make sure you take these courses as soon as possible. Most of these courses are prerequisites for engineering courses, so the faster you take them, the better. Some advice that I wish I had was to study really hard for these courses because they are the foundation for future courses. The better you learn the material now, the easier the higher level classes will be. In college, I struggle the most with these courses and they almost made me change majors. So if you're currently taking these classes, don't get discouraged, things will get better. Another reason why you should take these courses as soon as possible are to take the practical classes. You will see that once you start taking the practical classes, you will have the requirements to start applying for internships. Internships are typically well paid for engineers and will open the doors to many opportunities. So finish those core classes. Finally, we can get to the practical courses. Once you take the practical courses, you will start to understand what electrical engineering is really about. I will talk about this section in the next video, but I will leave you with the biggest tip I wish someone had told me. And the tip is, try to get the best grades possible. Don't just pass a class, try to get an A in every class. The reason for this is because many companies have a minimum GPA requirement. Some require higher GPA than others, so the higher, the better. Another reason is for professors to notice you. If professors notice that you're interested in the subject and you're getting really good grades, you have a better chance to work with them in research and will have a person to write you a letter recommendation in the future. I cannot emphasize how important this is. It is probably the one thing I would tell myself if I could go back to the past and give myself one tip. If you're interested in different fields of electrical engineering and what you can do with your career, please check out part three. If you like this video, Please give it a like and subscribe for more videos.